Okay, here we've got the Force Awakens, the First Order Stormtrooper squad leader. It's a nice looking figure. It's basically just your basic clones. Uh, first order stormtrooper with extra webbing comes with a standard blaster and this combiner blaster which is quite huge nice looking figure great artwork on the card I think I got this one last week for about 750 at Sainsbury's nice looking figure here's the Eagle Mosfoth research ship out of the box it's a nice model great design very alien looking and you can see the underside, you see the two engines. Nicely detailed model there. The side view. It's pretty cool. The top. Really nice. That's the Voth research ship. Pretty cool. This 18 inch Jack Pacific Han Solo is about the same height as the uh, Jack Pacific First Order Stormtrooper. And I think the Jack Pacific Stormtrooper's got better sculpting though. But it's a later figure, so what do you expect? Both look cool though. Okay. Okay, so last look at these three stormtroopers. They look really nice. Really would recommend this one because he's articulated. You can get him in some nice poses. And, you know, I think the sculpting on this figure is a little bit better than on the 3.75 Stormtrooper. I mean, the 5 points of articulation Stormtrooper. And with the additional uh, uh, articulation, this is what everyone wanted to begin with. And that's, uh, that's the Black Series Stormtrooper. It's got more detailing paint apps. And then you've got the original Kenner Vintage as well to compare it to. Okay. The guns are pretty much identical. His has got a bit more paint application to it. Both look wicked though. And then you've got this one as well. The First Order Stormtrooper Squad Leader. Okay, so cheers, bye. Okay, here we got the Husk Thug. And I bought it a couple of weeks ago at Sainsbury's. It was on sale for £7.50. So I thought I'd pick it up. Quite a cool looking figure. It's nice body sculpting with the fur, brown and grey hair. The blaster he comes with sort of looks like a shotgun. And it comes with that piece of a uh, combiner thing. Head sculpt. Pretty cool looking figure. You see him in Masconata's castle. Nice looking figure. In the back says, Hus thugs are primitive aliens that prowl the shadowy alleries of spaceport towns. The husks were ill prepared for the evils of advanced technology and off world vices, and many travel with their litter mates as roaming thugs itching to make trouble. Other figures in the line European warning, and there's a good look at the figure. Husk thug, really nice. So, looking at the Gungan assault. The episode one play set just opened it and it's a nice little environment kind of small but looks good and you get the battle droid you can stick there it's got a little peg hole there You've got Jar Jar holding onto the flap of the ammo wagon Star Wars paperback version New York Times bestseller UK version, 8.99. The hardback there, and the DVD. Okay, let's see what we get in this bag. So we've got Anakin Starfighter. 
that's quite nice. Get a bit of instruction sheet. So that's Anakin Starfighter. Let's see the next bag. Speeder bike, nice. Kind of small, but still nice. So series three, we've got two of those so far. We've got the Anakin Starfighter and the um, speeder bike. Let's try the next bag. Rancor. This is the one I wanted. That's a nice one there. Cool. Rancor from Return of Jedi. And the last one. So I've got all different so far. We'll see if we get something different or the same. We get the B Wing. Nice. We've got the B Wing. The Rancor, the Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, and the Biker Scout. Order and browsing or blogging on our Wi-Fi is included in your stay. And when you book direct to Hampton.com, you'll also enjoy our best price guarantee. Booking somewhere else? You could always pack a carrier pigeon. Hampton Bundle. Another one more look at the figure. Let's see if we can focus. Yep. There's the tray, there's the uh, drinks bottle I assume, or I hope, and then we have TC14. So this is one of the harder to find um, episode 1 figures. I mean loose, you I mean carded you're probably talking about maybe £15, £20 these days, and then um, braided like this, 30 to 40 Okay, so not majorly expensive, but you know. Okay, so hope you enjoyed looking at TC14. Really nice looking shiny silvery figure. Alright, cheers, bye. Here's the Mattel Hot Wheels Darth Vader's TIE Fighter X1 prototype. It's out of the packaging. It's quite lightweight. The body is met metal and the wings are plastic. So I don't think it's as good as the titanium. But it's just as well detailed. And wings are nice. You can see it has a little hole there so you can put this stand into it. And then you can stick it to your finger. So it's not bad. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Okay, better look at the Han Solo figure. You can see there's some sculpting to the face to try and make it look a bit aged. There are some grey highlights in the hair, not as grey as in the actual movie. Um, detailing on the jacket, not bad. The holster and the boots, all sculpting five points of articulation, so quite a good figure. And for a fiver, you can't complain. Nice looking figure, especially as it's one of the latest figures. There's the back, Hustler, Han Solo, Ray Resistance Uniform. Nice, and then you've got this, the original Han Bespin to compare him with, to see how things have gone in the past 36 years or thereabouts. And you know, this is a nice figure, one of the best Han Solos, definitely. And then this new one here, so you can compare the two. 
what we had back in the 70s and 80s and what you have now okay so cheers bye and here's a better look at the black series 3.75 kylo ren figure and you can see the detailing in the boots there's the ankles which move up and down slightly there's the back of the leg just be careful with moving the joints because they can be a bit stiff let's see how far you can kick the leg out that far and then you can bend the knee this knee doesn't bend that much it's a bit stiff and then you can move the ankles this shoulders inhibited by the cloak at the top elbows bend and the wrists rotate I think it looks really cool, the mask. And yeah, looks really cool. He got a lot of detailing on the figure in terms of all the sort of sculpting on the body. This cloth is very similar to what they use on the six inch. I'm sure it's the same actually. But the underneath is really nicely detailed and sculpted as well. So it's pretty cool. So this is your six inch black series Kylo Ren, I mean 3.75, not 6 inch. I do have the 6 inch figure. Spanish PBP, Lando Christian, 1980, UKG 75, really nice figure. Looks really good. So you can look at the grading you got. Star Wars Lando Christian PBP, 1980, Lucasfilm. Like licenses no cart country of origin score so that means on the back of the le leg the country of origin and like the Hong Kong has been scarred away oh. really nice figure quite nice Landau Carisian from 1980 Okay, here I've got the first order TIE Fighter pilot, the Force Awakens basic figure. And it was £5 at Sainsbury's. I've got it because I've got the actual fighter and I need a second pilot. So I'm going to put this, open this one up and put it inside the ship. But I'm just looking at the packaging. So nice artwork on the card. And there's the back of the card, TIE Fighter pilot. The other figures that it came with and that's the piece it comes with the combiner piece okay so that's your first order tie fighter pilot let's get it open The Trident Starfighter pulled the contents. It comes with two missiles. There's the firing button. It's completely die cast. And there's the instructions for children three years and over. Bins Road, Liverpool. Just the plain sheet there. There's the extra missile. These are fixed in. Rubber bands deteriorated, but it's a really nice item this ship. I'll show you it in more detail now. So, Trident Starfighter Dinky Toys made in England. And you've got the orange fins at the bottom. Really looks quite nice, sleek, simple design. Has some weight to it. The missile still fires, which is good. This is the Trident Starfighter. Okay. Here you've got the Black Series TIE Fighter, First Order Special Forces and the Hot Wheels same model and you can see that both have plastic wings, it's a bit disappointing on the Titanium Series one that it's got plastic wings, body's metal, 
It's got an opening canopy. It's quite nice. And this one has plastic wings as well. And a metal die cast body. There's the back of it. Quite nicely detailed. Got nice red paint apps on it. Good detailing on the rings. As does this one. You can see pretty much the same model. So in this case, probably the Hot Wheels is the better, really. Even though it doesn't have an opening canopy, it's larger. But I mean, both have plastic wings. You can see how much larger this Hot Wheels is. But there's not much in it. This one's got probably sl more slender struts, whereas this one's a lot more chunky. But sculpting, in terms of the amount of detail shown, they're pretty much the same. This has grey paint around the uh, edges of the glass canopy, and this one has silverish paint. Both have the two lasers there. So they both look really cool. So there's not really much in it between the two. So if you wanted the first order TIE Fighter to put on your desk or table, you could choose either version. You could choose the Mattel Hot Wheels version or the Black Series Titanium. Okay, I started reviewing this on Thursday. It's the Poe Demon X-Ring figure by Jack Specific, 18 inches tall. I started it on Thursday, but I ran out of memory, so I'm going to finish it off today. It's got comes with a blaster pistol. It's a great looking figure. And... Here's the back of the box, it says Podemron, features 7 points of articulation and it's from episode 7. This is the figure out of the box. This one you can tell is a prototype because it's been painted. But you've got some nice detail in the back of the helmet, you can see like nice painting details. It's a great looking figure. So let's get it out of the box and have a good look at it. This uh, first order Star Destroyer is a really good model, I highly recommend it, number 06 and this number 24 is a really good one as well, that's the original type Star Destroyer. So if you can find this one for £2.50 at Argos or even cheaper, pick it up, it's a really nice model. Come to a stand, it just looks amazing, look at that, it's really nice, cool looking model. Okay, so that's your first order Star Destroyer and that's your original Star Destroyer. Cool looking models. Okay, so cheers, bye. Okay, so this is quite a nicely detailed model. The body is metal, the figurines are plastic. It's quite nicely detailed. Looks really nice. Not, Outstanding piece, but still pretty cool. That's the first order snow speeder. Okay, so that's worth checking out. Number 14. Looks pretty cool. Small model. I think there's a Hot Wheels version coming out as well. But this one's pretty cool. Okay, so it's your first order snow speeder. Looks pretty cool. Okay, this is the Power of the Force 2 freeze frame on a tri logo card. So, this is the card that was sold in Canada, and it's quite a desirable card. It's not as desirable as the American cards, which goes for a lot of money, but this is the um, Canadian South American version. 
So you've got Rike there. I showed last year a Rike with the European long pitcher. So this is the Rike with the freeze frame, which is a really desired card. You can see the nice image on the picture there. The freeze frame. The figure's quite okay. It's very powerful. It's got a sort of large chest there, gold buckle there. Uh, Nice apps, paint apps, nice skiff staff there, and uh, it comes with an Imperial Blaster. As it's Canadian, it's got some uh, leaflets in the back, back behind it. The US one would have larger writing here, and uh, wouldn't have the French and English and Spanish. Star Wars, Kenner Collection, so this is from 1997. And it's got special offer inside. Three languages there. And made in China. Number 03, Kylo Ren Shuttle, first order, white version. And this one's a kind of disappointing model because it just doesn't c contain enough die cast. Only the body, this bit here, is metal. The wings are plastic. It's got nice detailing on the body. The wings can be extended. So when it's like that, it's quite tall. Got little landing skids. Dark brown rebel soldier. Very rare. Pale face. Top item. Cost a lot of money, this. Made in Spain. Can be found on Spanish cards and tri logos. Really nice. Dark brown rebel soldier. Great figure. Really nice. Okay, here's something I bought last Thursday, I think. As soon as I saw it on eBay, I thought, sorry, I've got to get this. This is um, Luke Skywalker 1995 on a European card. It's the transition card, though. What transition means is that this is a short lightsaber in a long tray. And the Luke Skywalker on this figure is quite highly desired, especially on the US card. But even on the European card, it's quite pricey. This is AFA graded... And it gets 85. 1995 Kenner Star Wars Powder Force Red Trilogo Luke Skywalker Transition Tray. Card 85, Bubble 85, Figure 90. Overall grade 85. And there's the picture of the character. This is four five languages there English, uh, Spanish, French, Dutch, and German. So the only reason why this figure is valuable is the tray itself. It's nothing to do with the figure. It's just the way it's been packed in the tray. That it is a short saber in a long tray. Overall, this is a really nice um, titanium. Yes, it's small, but it's nicely detailed. It's got some nice uh, paint apps on it, so it looks really cool. So this one is one I highly recommend, just because it's from the new movie, Episode 7, and it just looks really cool. You can see the detailing at the front, the net there, and all the detailing on the engines really nice so if you can find it still and I found this one for £2.50 at Argos it's worth picking up okay so cheers bye
Here we've got the Power of the Force 2 Freeze Frame Argonaut 2 pack. You get two figures in this, and you get the freeze frame there. So there's the freeze frame from the Empire Strikes Back. Quite nice. And yeah, the package is tatty, so I didn't pay much for this. I paid about three pounds, maybe a bit less. And um, there's the back of the card, Argonauts. This is a Canadian packaging, so with the British import sticker there. So it's from 1998. Really nice card, apart from the condition. Bubbles yellow. You get two figures. This one looks really good. The detail on this figure looks great. So here's a better look at the figure. You can see that he's got sort of khaki jacket, that resistance rifle, greyish dark blue trousers, and the combat boots that are in sort of dark khaki colour. It's not a bad figure. And it's a shame they used the yellow visor rather than a yellow plastic clear visor. It would look a lot better. It's not a bad figure. And, you know, for $2.99 you can't go wrong with that. Okay, so that's your resistance fighter, trooper. I've seen in episode 7. Last look at the figure on card. Darth Maul, Tatooine with cloak and lightsaber. So they released quite a few of the Maul figures back in the day. There's a variation with the earlier release of Maul with a black vest and that's worth a lot of money. If you can ever find that. And there's the back of the card. Okay, so that's your Darth Maul, Tatooine. With cloak and lightsaber. Cheers, bye. Okay, Jakku Speeder looks pretty nice. This is Black Series number 19. It's kind of small. It's not very metal. It's more plastic and it's kind of lightweight. It has some nice detailing, sculpting details. And it's got some good paint apps to it. So I wouldn't say this one's essential, but for two quid I can resist it. So number 19, the Black Series, Jakku Speeder. Looks pretty cool, comes with a stand. Nice detailing there, you've got the controls and the gear le lever. Some detailing on the back. So it's got nice paint apps. So even though it's kind of lightweight and small, it has some nice detailing into it and a good paint job. It looks like uh, the sort of stuff it's uh, carrying. Okay, here we've got the Micro Machines Episode 1 Republic Cruiser. Says it there. This is a European box. It ha doesn't have any English on it. So this is sold on continental Europe. Um, got on eBay for about two quid, maybe. It's like a titanium diecast ship, Republic cruiser. Really nice. Episode one. Blue packaging, micro machines. You get the pods, you get all of these things. You get the languages. The micro machine galoob. And this is European packaging. So it's not, this wouldn't have been sold in the UK. Could have been imported into UK, but it doesn't have English language on it. So these are the different sets you could get. Metal vehicles. So nice. So let's get this out of the box and see what it can do. So it's your micro machine, Star Wars, 
episode one Republic Cruiser and there's the languages so here's a better look at the ATST from Return of the Jedi really nice the head turns that's all it does it's nicely detailed very small but it looks pretty cool this prefer this to the X-Wing anyhow so that's the ATST can turn the head like that really nice that's the ATST and then there's the X-Wing closed wing as seen in episode 7 so there's quite a few variations on the X-Wing this one the guns and the wings aren't too badly bent so that's good so that's the X-Wing and the ATST both are nice so two good hits. Okay, so that's my blind bag opening. Cheers, bye. Okay, here's C-3PO episode one. And this is on a European packaging. So this is a variation because it has the Italian name as well on the sticker. It has D-3PO, which is what the Italians called C-3PO. It's a really nice figure. I mean, it's really, you can see in the detail of the figure just how much detail they put into this in terms of sculpting maybe not in terms of articulation but for the time this is a great figure from 1999 and it has episode one episode one there star wars the european thing there picture of the figure uh spanish there figures talk italian french and german so this is a european continental European packaging and this is a variation because the ones that got sold in the UK had other European languages but they didn't have the Italian sticker name there it had just been C3PO but let's look at, look at the figure it's really nicely detailed it's a really great sculpt uh, you can see all these workings wires looking like veins around the skeletal frame what a great I don't really appreciate this I didn't at the time didn't really appreciate this figure but looking at back at it now it's just an amazing in terms of sculpt just the amount of detail there all the wiring all the paint on this figure what a nice figure. Here's the A-Wing on its stand. It just looks wicked, man. Really recommend this one. Lovely panel lines. Lovely paint job on this. Nice painting on the weapons, the guns. This fighter was built for speed. It really has that look about it, that it's a racing machine. And, you know, side profile looks great love the sort of top where it's flattened at the top and then there's a little nick there this looks cool so this is a really great design yeah and you know great looking ship the A-Wing as seen in episode 6 Return of the Jedi it just looks amazing he's even got some little stickers there you can see the two little triangles on the maroon bit there really nice what a great looking ship great panel lines excellent so I highly recommend this one this is the black series number 20 the a-wing fighter this looks great definitely give this a high score say 9 out of 10 maybe 10 out of 10 this looks amazing and it's gonna look great on display okay so cheers bye Okay, a couple of months, maybe a month ago, I got the um, Luke Skywalker transitioning lightsaber. And the same seller had the Darth Vader transitioning lightsaber on the European card. And so, uh, I oomed and aahed and, you, you know, all that sort of stuff. I'm meant to be saving for something and I, I haven't really met my saving goal. So, I'm going to have to get a loan anyhow. So, um... So I bought this and you know after doing research like checking your AFA population and this is AFA population is one so this is the uh, so far this is the only European carded uh, transition Sabre Darth Vader from 1995 that's graded by AFA so 
I mean, it's not as rare as the Luke that I showed you a while back. That's far rarer than this. And it says, uh, with lightsaber and removable cape, dark, Darth Vader, dark Vador in French. And it's quite a muscle, muscly figure. And you can see that this lightsaber is short, but the transition tray is long. So that's why it's called a transitioning tray, because it's um, the bubble is for the longer lightsaber which came with the first issue figures and then they decided that the lightsaber was way too long because it was nearly as long as the figure and um, so they cut the size of the lightsaber but they still kept the side this tran longer longer tray here hence it's called a transition tray then they switched to a short tray yeah so that's how the transitioning tray and you can find it for five figures you can find it for this Vader the original farm by Luke, Luke X-Wing, Luke Dagobah, and the Obi-Wan. The Obi-Wan is the rarest. And that's transitioning tray Obi-Wan would be around maybe 700 to 1,000, maybe even more pounds. Yeah? This one is, you know, it's graded as an AFA 85. It's Kenner, Star Wars, Powder Force, Red Tri Logo, Darth Vader, Transition Tray. 351626. Here's a good look at the Death Trooper. Comes with two weapons. Nice armour. Looks pretty cool. Obviously, this is the why, why I chose this one. He looks the coolest out of the bunch. He's got armour there. Equipment packs. Jinks looks amazing. There's his shoes. Looks really nice, this figure cool looking figure the death trooper from rogue one coming soon glad i got it before it came out it comes it comes out next sunday i think or, or the first of october nice looking figure picking up that uh black series death trooper i went to asda and they had this on they only had this one left so i had to pick this one it was nine quid so really nice figure it's the stormtrooper the new version of the stormtrooper so it comes with a chest piece there and there that you can attach onto the chest it's been reviewed quite a lot so first order transmissions do a good review of this figure and i think flyguide.net does a good review of this figure and it's a really nice sculpt even though it's five points of articulation i mean i only got it because it's a new figure and it's and when the, I was going through the checkout, the lady said, "I, oh, it says do not you can't you can't have it because it's saying do not sell till first of October." And I, I guess I looked like I was about to burst into tears, so she must have taken pity on me and let me ha have it. So that was cool. I hope she don't get in trouble about that in work. So you know that was uh you know because I was stressing, man. But at least she let me let me take it and uh um. I'm just glad I got it. So this is the new Stormtrooper. So here are the figures out of the box in the plastic casing. You can see the lovely detail of the two figures. All the equipment that come with. Morph's main weapon is this long sort of Gatling gun rifle. Lovely detail on this figure. And then the Shaw Trooper or Scarif Trooper just looks amazing. Here's the main reason I wanted this set. And then you get all this equipment as well, this heavy gunner piece. That's pretty cool. So you assemble that and he can wear that. But mainly I'm more interested in the figures. Got quite good detail, the heavy, this piece of equipment here. Okay. Let's look at these figures. Look amazing. Nice look at the Y Wing. DCA 80, see the lovely sculpting detail. So the body is metal die cast and the wick pods are plastic. But it looks great like this. See on the side there, 1979 Kenner Star Wars loose die cast vehicle, Hong Kong Y Wing fighter. Really nice. 
There's the side. There's the two pods underneath. So those access landing scooters are retractable. And then the back of the figure card just shows you all the information and stuff. Which is kind of interesting, I guess. But it's about the figure that counts, really. Nice looking figure. Yeah, pretty cool. She'll fly off the pegs. Okay. Well, it looks like Hasbro have, have, have got enough figures out this time. Okay. So. This is a figure I wanted yesterday and she was there on the peg so I just picked, grabbed her and the two pack that I wanted. Okay, so cheers, bye. I, w I would say, definitely say this figure's worth getting. It's a sort of her and her combat gear that's pretty cool. Okay, so cheers, bye. Here's the slave one in the horizontal position. Looks amazing. Black Series Titanium number 10. It's pretty cool. So if you like Boba Fett or the Slave 1 design, this is one worth tracking down. There's also the J Django Fett Slave 1, which is a pretty cool model as well. Okay, so Slave 1, number 10, Black Series. All right, get some thumbs up from me, certainly. All right, cheers, bye. Nice paint around the eyes, on the face, I'm not sure if you've heard this figure speak yet, but a nice looking figure, and there's his zip line action, cool looking figure, detailing on the chest, Looks great in a black finish. So it's K2SO. Alright, cheers, bye. Here's something I got from Japan. It's the Series 5 Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight Kubrick. And the chase figure in this set was the Han Solo in Endor. And this is what this one is. It's the, you can see the hologram there. Tommy. And I've shown the Luke before. We've also got the Death Star Gunner. So that's the box. Let's open it. This will be the Chase Han Solo. So here's the Han Solo. Still sealed. There's the Han Solo Endor, the chase figure from Series 5. Comes with a tiny little blaster. Nicely painted. And there's the figure. Han Solo in indoor gear, the chase figure from series 5 of Kubrick, Medicom, it's the back of the figure, nice looking item, Han Solo. One last look at Director Krennic, it's about 5.45 now in London, and a cool figure. I'm glad I picked that one up. And then you've got it's gonna get dark now. Okay, so cheers. Bye.